So that pig's not even attacking them. And I'm not sure if they're attacking it. Nope. Okay. Alright. Things are, things are dead. Hey guys, welcome back to MOE. This is going to be episode 32. Before we get started here, I would just like to say, as always, thank you guys so much for all your support on the other videos. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. If you guys find yourselves liking this video, you could do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing as well. The channel here also has its own Discord now. I'll make sure to leave a link for that down below. Anybody that wants to join is more than welcome. So in the last episode, guys, we kind of decorated our place a little bit. Um, we All we were able to do was put some torches down. Okay. Now, at the time, that's all we had. Now, there was an update that dropped uh, that added a little bit of furniture, so I can go around and try to maybe decorate with that a little bit, but there's still not enough, I think, um, to really work with when it comes to like a place like this. And there was actually a comment that I wanted to address that um, said that it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense for us to be living in a place like this. Uh, on a playthrough for like this game and I agree honestly I, I really do agree as much as I love this build and I loved building it I don't like living in it so it, it doesn't feel like an appropriate base to live in for a playthrough and I have to agree with that uh, but for now we're just going to stick it out I don't really have any ideas on where I would put an actual base to stay because this plateau is where I want to live so if I was going to take you know if I was going to make the decision that okay I'm not going to live here I want to live somewhere else then I either have to build a whole nother structure. Now, mind you, this is already over 5,000 structures right here. So I would have to build another structure up on this plateau, or I'd have to tear this down and just build something else. So there's a couple of options. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. I don't know how many people would be upset if I tore it down and just built something a little bit more realistic. Um, if anybody has an opinion on that, they're more than welcome to leave it in the comments below. That would help me out quite a bit. But we're not going to worry about that today. For right now, what I really want to do, guys, is I want to build a bridge down here because I want to be able to go get iron so that we can actually make things to survive up here. You can see we have some resident wolves over here. I doubt I'll be able to survive these guys because they're probably really high level. But I want to be able to go get iron. Uh, I can't tell from here, but I wanted to see if our cart is even still there. Are you guys going to be a problem? So what we're going to do to start the episode off with is we're going to build a bridge. Now, I crafted like 30 of each, except for foundations, because you don't really need a lot of those. But I crafted like 30 of everything else. We're going to need ceilings, pillars, and some walls to make, uh, basically make railings with. And then I brought whatever resources I had left as well. So we're going to come over here. Hopefully those guys stay over there. And we're going to try and start building something. And if we run out of resources, we'll have to go get more, of course, but... Let's see. I don't remember how far I had this the last time. So we're going to probably start... You know what? Let's get rid of some of these bushes first, though. Because they're going to be in our way. Okay. I think here's probably a good, a, a good place. But you know what we need is... We need to do this. Can I... How do I rotate it again? There is no way to rotate. I'd have to place it like this. And I, I don't want to do that. Okay, well that kind of stinks, but we're going to sit there and we're going to do this. Oh, that's right, we can just rotate it like that. I feel stupid. Um, yeah, I mean, that looks like it's going across the... Oh no! Alright, then we got to go this way with it. That, that part I really hate, like the whole clipping into the terrain. Like, come on, why can't we have clipping into the terrain? I can't wait for people to make mods. All right, let's put some more of these down. I don't think we're going to need too many of them. That's probably as far... Yeah, this is as far as we're going to be able to go, probably. And then now we're going to switch to ceilings. Okay, there we go. And those wolves, they're still over there, so we should be okay. All right, and I know you don't necessarily have to put two pillars... Like, I don't have to have a pillar on this ceiling and this ceiling to get the first support, but I'm going to do it anyway, just so that it looks uniform. Uh, and you know what? Let's just stay down here. Oh, you know what, though? Yeah, there we go. It'd be a lot easier to see this in first person. I really hope that those wolves mind their own business <laughs> for the remainder of this quick little build here. 
Uh, and there isn't going to be a lot I can do to make this bridge look flashy. Oh, why can't I place that? There we go. But we're going to try. We're going to see what we can do to make it look decent. You know what else I wasn't even thinking about? That little camp behind us. Hopefully they don't become a problem either. Requires a foundation. So we got to go under the water here maybe? Why can't I go under the water? Am I hitting the wrong button? Somebody's not connected over here. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. And now we're good. Which button is it to go under the water again? Oh, Q is to dive. Okay, I was hitting um, C. I don't know why I thought it was C. Maybe that's what it is in Conan Exiles, which I've also been playing on the channel here. There we go. Now we can see what we're doing. Okay, we're probably going to run out of pillars as well. That's okay. I didn't anticipate that what I crafted was enough. I just wanted to get some going. Okay. How are we doing? All right. Probably going to have to make more ceilings as well. All right, let's come and let's get some more. I think branches is really what's going to do us in. Actually, we've got some stuff. Let's see how many we can make. And let's go back underwater here. I'm really glad that you can build underwater. Uh, what game was it? I think it was Conan. In the beginning, you couldn't build uh, underwater in Conan Exiles. It was very, it, either it didn't work at all, or it was very, very, very buggy. But I can't remember. It's been so long. Okay, am I, do I have to, yeah, we're going to need to add one there. Let's craft another one and hope we don't drown in the time it takes. Okay, and then, hold on a second. You're going to be difficult, aren't you? Now, if we hit Q, Q is to cycle snap points, right? Okay, I can do that, but it's going to... Okay, it worked. All right, perfect. Now let's get up before we drown. And let's craft some more pillars. Okay, and let's craft some more ceilings. Is there anything over here? Now, there was a bear over here when we first got here, guys, so we got to be careful of him, too. All right. Okay, perfect. It's crazy. I keep thinking I hear something. And then hopefully this is far enough away that those guys aren't going to aggro because they will come and destroy your structures if things are, you know, too close for comfort for them. Now, we can't get... We can't get one to snap there, though, huh? What if I had... This is me figuring out how to get pillar or how to get uh, foundations to snap. So let's see how this works. Now that won't snap there, huh? I can't get it to snap. See, I can get it to snap to this pillar. All right. What if we put a pillar underneath this as well? Hmm. See, I don't want that there. All right. What if we were to put another ceiling in? Okay. And let's actually get this pillar demolished. Okay. And we'll do another ceiling. Okay, and then what if we just put a, uh, a pillar here now? Okay, so that's way too high. Weird. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, you know what we can do? Let's demolish this. Oh, and that's going to want to... I don't want to do that, though. So what I was doing when I was building bridges before is I would actually just kind of, like, try and make it so that it's about flush. Uh, we're not going to be able to demolish that, are we? No. All right. Well, we're going to have to try and do this the old-fashioned way. So I would sit there and I would just kind of go in as far as I could. And then we're going to place it. We'll see if we can rotate it so that it matches. Okay, and then we're going to just snap another one in there. Now, it's not perfect, 
but it's really, really close. And let's come over here and let's actually just throw another pillar here just so that we have the support. Okay, and I don't think we'll have to put another one in. Alright, so that's the start of our bridge. Now we can see... If I put this in here, it's not going to let me put that one there, though. Ooh. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick this one up. And let's get that back out. And we'll put that there. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to put um, both railings in, but that's okay. So we'll just worry about this one. I can do this in third person. It's a very, very basic bridge, guys. Oh, oh, I thought that placed in the wrong spot. And, okay, we can place that one. So we're definitely going to need more walls. Well, I don't know. Let's do like 10 or whatever we can. Yeah, we're going to need even more than that, probably. I don't even know if our uh, cart is still over there, guys. It might not be. Does the map show us? See, I think this is Mulan, and I think that's the horses. I don't see anything else that would signify the cart was there. It's very possible it got destroyed. Let's see here. Um, what are we looking at? One more. Nope. We got it. Look at that. Perfect. I did not plan that. <laughs> okay. So, there's our bridge. It's nothing flashy, but you know what? It's going to do what we needed to do. Now, let's come over here and let's see if our cart's here. If it's not, I will go ahead and just craft a new one. <gasps> Ooh. Wait a minute. I forgot about the bear. I think our cart's here. Yes, it is. Okay, let's grab our cart. I really should grab a horse for this, but I'd have to run all the way back to base just to get the horse. So, you know what? Maybe we should harvest this uh, clay while we're over here. We're not close enough to those guys. Let's get some of this clay. Why not? Um, yeah, let me harvest up all this clay that's right here, guys, and I'll bring you right back. Alright, guys. I finished gathering the clay. We got 891, so almost 900 of it, just from this little bank here. Now, I have raids turned up, so that's not really going to help anybody, but... Let's pull the cart now, and I know that not many people probably want to see me pulling this cart back to base, but the only reason I did it is because there's a very real chance that we're not going to make it. <laughs> okay, that's a deer. So we're going to see if we can get over here without aggroing those wolves, and I don't know where that bear went. I have not seen him, so... Maybe he ran off into the woods? I'm not sure, but let's see if we can get this back to base, and then I'm going to take you guys over to the iron mine... So I can show you where that's at. Okay, I thought I heard something. Having a bridge is so much nicer. I'm really... See, here's the thing that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I'm really glad that you can build in the water and you can build bridges and stuff. But how does one do this on an official server? Because you have to place, like, territory banners and stuff to keep your stuff from decaying. I don't understand that logic. How would you even get... You know, like, like if we open up our map really quick... I mean, I know there's going to be stuff down here, but, like, to even get to where this is with a cart, I mean, you could cross here, and then you'd have to, what, go through these mountains just to get it here? That stinks. I mean, this would be a really hard place to build on official, I guess. Which is a real shame, because it's such a perfect spot. Okay, let's get up here. You know what else we have to do is we have to get our horses in. I haven't even brought them in yet. We're just going to bring the cart all the way over. I want to see if I can even get the cart uh, into our courtyard, because we might not. Um, I have it set so the too high door frame, like the larger door frame, is kind of blocking off the whole entrance there. So let's see if we can even fit this through one of those. I know horses can fit through them, because they keep coming. Okay, can we get a cart through here? Oh! Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. 
So, let's leave the cart right there. Let's go get our horses really quick. I haven't even checked on them in a minute. And you know what else I want to do? Let's put the foundations that we have left on the cart. I don't really want to throw those out, just in case I come up with some other building project that we need them for. So let's go in here and let's go check on our horses. I feel really bad. I have not been keeping an eye on them. Yeah, they're not in here. Although, I suppose we could leave them in here. I still don't know what to do with all this space, guys. If, uh, if anybody has suggestions, go ahead and leave that in the comments, because I'm not sure. I mean, that's assuming we... That's assuming we stay here. I do have to agree with that one commenter. Like, I just... I, I like the building, but I don't like living in it. And then we've got this little shack out here we got to do something with. Hey guys, I don't have a stable for you yet. <laughs> so I feel really bad that you're all stuck out here. Alright, so you two don't have a saddle. we got to get saddles for them all too. And I can't have them all follow me at once, huh? Alright, well... You follow. And then we'll get on Polaris and we'll come back for Epona. And we got to get into breeding. And I don't know if anybody saw um, the question that I had asked in... I don't—I can't remember if it was the last episode. I think it was the last episode. Does anybody know if you can get, like, a gold-quality horse through breeding if, like, the, the two parent horses don't even have that trait? Like, can you just get better horses through breeding? Or are you just only going to get what you like what you've got? So if I open up her inventory. She is, you know, she's a green quality horse. She's nothing special. You know, these are her traits. Can I get, if I were to breed her with Meridian, could I potentially get a purple or gold quality horse, or is this it? I'm just going to leave you there. If anybody knows the answer to that, go ahead and leave it down below for me. Oh, I thought I just heard... Oh, that was weird. I thought I just heard a wolf fighting a boar, but... You guys probably wouldn't be able to hear it. It sounded like it was happening like right over here um, along the edge of the water, though. All right, so now we've got you. I don't think I left anything else over here. I don't think there was chests or anything. We are going to have to demolish this at some point. Let's have you come with us. <laughs> this place is ridiculous. I agree, guys. It's very extra. It's incredibly extra. Now, I do want to build my brother's uh, building that he originally started because that was starting to look cool. And he sent me a picture... Uh, his inspirational picture, if you will, on what drew him to wanting to build it. And it looks really, really neat. Like, I think in my head I've got pretty much down, like, the way he wanted to build. And I think that would be really cool to do. Do a speed build on that for him, since he really can't do it right now. Alright, so we got the horses in there. But you know what we're going to do is we're going to take our one horse, the one that's actually got a saddle. Uh, let's see, we have two girls and one boy, right? So I don't want him to lose the boy. Alright, so yeah, we're just going to take Polaris here. We can afford to lose one female. So, we'll take her. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, close that, though. I don't want them getting out. Alright, let's take a trip over to that iron mine. Because we need iron in order to progress any further in this game, guys. Especially if we want to be able to survive up here. We need iron so we can make the better armor. And it's a deer. Yeah, there was like a, a boar and a wolf. I mean, there's those wolves. Oh, oh, they're getting closer though. I don't like that. Uh-oh. I do not like that. Okay. Well, let's come over to the iron mine. Okay. I feel better on a horse because, you know, at least we can get away. But we also have to be careful not to get our horse shot. <laughs> oh, there's a boar over here. Maybe I heard it over here. I don't know. That was a really weird sound. Okay. See, these guys are all really high level, though. I'm so close to level 40, I didn't even realize that. At level 40, we'll have unlocked all of the furniture, though. I'm trying really hard not to hit trees. Oh, that's a wolf. I, I see a wolf. Okay. Let's go maybe this way just a little bit more. Now, we have to be careful of this iron mine, guys, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, these guys are going to be way higher than me, for sure. Like, I don't even need to get here and see their levels to know that. 
Two, I am incredibly weak. The gear that I have, oh, a little bit of lag. The gear that I have is not sufficient to be up in this area. I'm well aware of that. And three, um, I don't want to lose our horse. She's weak too. <laughs> oh, please be deer. Foxes, okay. Okay, we got some deer over here. So it's probably going to be in our best interest to leave the horse back just a little bit. So we're going to leave her right here. I really hope... I see boar, I see deer, I don't see any wolves. So let's come over here. Maybe we can actually see what some of these levels are. Um, there's iron right here. Let's grab this really quick. Yeah, just run away, pal. See, it's weird. Like, deer walk right into their camp and they're not even going to do anything about it. Alright, let me grab this iron node really quick, guys. I know it's going to take a minute, so hold on. Okay. I want this iron node. That's going to be way too close, though, right? Can, what if I crouch? Yeah, I know. All these animals are freaking out. Oh, what? Oh, that guy's only at 33. Wait a minute. Maybe this mine isn't as high level as I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's that stupid music. <sighs> I mentioned it in the last episode. I think they added something where if you get too close to these, yeah, you can see. Music starts to play. Oh, they're they're distracted, though. Come on. Ooh. Oh. Um, that pig's not doing anything to attack them. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, hold on, hold on. We took a lot of chances there. So that pig's not even attacking them. And I'm not sure if they're attacking it. Nope. Okay. Alright, things are, things are dead. Alright, so we got two iron nodes. Yeah, so I mentioned it in the last episode, but I think that must have been a newer update. They made it so that when you get too close to these, this music track triggers, and it's ridiculously loud and unnecessary. See? Like, why? Alright, I still don't have a lot of faith that we could take these guys out. I thought they were gonna be, like, 50s and 60s. What on earth? Okay, so the radius for that music is ridiculous. Oh, great. And now it's nighttime. <laughs> Let's come over here. I just want to see if there's any more pieces of iron that we can grab from the outskirts here. Oh, okay. We gotta be really careful, though. Because I may be higher than them, but these guys could wreck me. No doubt. Let's check this side really quick. Oh, hello. 34. I really don't... No, 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 no. No, none, none of that. We will have none of that. Okay, I see an iron node up the top there. <laughs> I don't understand that music track. I wonder if you can disable it. Because that's just dumb. Alright, let's get this iron node. Let me grab this one really quick. Okay. Now let's just check up here and see. There's one more iron node that I see. I'm going to see if I can grab that. Without being eaten by a wolf. Oh, there's two of them. Maybe even three. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Listen, your music is great, devs, but come on now. All right, let me grab these three uh, iron notes, guys, and I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys. So I went around the top, and I just kind of gathered all of the iron that I could find around the outskirts. There was a little group of iron nodes right at the very top. There was like maybe four of them. So I went ahead and grabbed that as well. As you can see back here, something I didn't notice. Uh, there's a really, really big flat area here that would make a great place to build a base. Uh, assuming we had a well. I, don't, I haven't made a well yet, but this isn't a bad spot. This is really nice and it's right next to that iron mine. So that's pretty cool. Well, we're, I'm gonna head back 
to my base, which I do not have marked. <laughs> I must have taken that off my map. So I know it's in this direction. So, But anyway, guys, that's probably where I'm going to call the episode. I'm going to go back to base, and I'm going to get all of this iron smelted up so that we can actually start making some real advancements, and we can, you know, survive a little bit longer than three seconds out here. But thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I really hope everybody has a fantastic rest of the day. I hope to see everybody come back for the next episode, and until then, bye guys!